Former teammates Vicente Luque and Ian Gary clash at UFC 296. See who fighters are picking in the latest edition of MMA Pro's Pick. I'll go with Luque. Okay. Because he's, you know, he's got a lot of experience. I mean, he can take hits very well and return hits very well. I mean, it depends on how Luque approaches it. If he approaches it the same way he approached uh, the fight with me, it's probably going to end maybe the same way. I see Luque in this fight, uh, shooting for more takedowns and uh, I think that's what he's going to need to do against like Ian and Ian they train together so Ian probably already knows his game so Luke a does have to change some shit up who would you give the edge to in, in that fight I imagine Gary's going to be the favorite because he's a younger undefeated guy right I mean honestly I'll, I'll, I'll give it to Gary because <laughs> Gary he's, he's, a, he's a good fighter but so uh, you know what I mean uh, I say I give it to Gary and like hopefully he wins and if Gary beats Luke a, then get, like that fight me and I'm just going to fight after that like, I'm going to make sure I'm going to push for it. I'm going to campaign for it. Like, you know, like, me and him, we have to fight. I believe uh, Yang Gary is going to win. Actually, you know, my plan is God willing to win and call out Yang Gary. And uh, I heard that he uh, he left uh, the gym where he was training. The, so Luke is his former teammate, but I believe he's going to win. And uh, my fight with Yang Gary is uh, my plan for the next two bouts. I fought in a couple cars with Ian Gary, and I really love his energy, his style, and just his uh, his attitude, right, his mentality. So I'm gonna go Ian Gary. Vincente Luca is a very good technical striker, but I think uh, Ian Gary just has too many tricks, too many tools in that box, and he's just so awkwardly elusive to deal with. And I think Vincente is gonna have a lot of trouble with that. Oh, that's a spicy one too. That's a that's interesting, like stylistically. You know what I'm saying? Because. It's also interesting because they've trained together. So, you know, like, um, Luke, so, you know, they kind of got a better read on each other's, like, timing and range. So, um, you know, Ian will be able to, like, land shots better. But Luke should be able to land shots better than anyone we've seen up to this point. So I'm, I'm very curious to see how um, Ian takes those shots because, you know, Luke is going to be, I'm sorry, I got something in my chest right now. Oh, no worries. It's all good. Um, but, um, see how, um, Ian takes those shots when Luke is throwing them full speed. Cause, you know, I mean, Luke is going to get hit, you know what I'm saying? But that's just kind of his style. So I'm curious to see where his chin's at because, uh, you know, he has kind of, um, been having a little bit of, um, he hasn't been performing at his best as of late so i'm curious to see where his chin's at but um no, well, remember luke beat rda in his last fight i think people forget did he, that did he yeah, yeah. okay okay that that one slipped by me then well that then that makes it even more exciting then then um no yeah, i'm really looking forward to fight that fight then but who, who do you give the edge to in that one do you think <sighs> see i did all that talking i didn't even pick anybody that's crazy yeah no worries. um <laughs> um probably gary probably gary i don't think he would take that fight unless he thought he could win and they've trained together too so i, I think um i give the edge to gary in that one i think uh this one's kind of interesting because they already trained together so it'll be um interesting to see kind of what happens in the gym playing out you know on, on the the pay-per-view um I think I'm going to take Gary on this one. I, I think he's, you know, a little longer. He's younger. I, I think that'll definitely play a factor. Uh, I kind of hope uh, uh, Luke wins just because uh, I just don't like the way Ian, he's he's too cocky. He thinks he thinks he's the man. He hasn't really done anything yet. He hasn't proved anything. But do you think Luke wins or do you think Gary has the edge there because he's younger? Uh, I think Luke, you know, they, they've trained together, so they kind of know you know, uh, you know, they're a little secret, so. You sent to me. Oh my gosh. Wasn't he supposed to fight my boy Jeff? Yes, he was. I do not like that dude. I do not like that dude. The stuff that he was doing was very disrespectful, I feel. I hope he gets flatlined, to be honest. Do you think he gets flatlined, though? I don't like him. I don't like him, Gary, at all. But I think he's, I think he got that one. He's okay. too rangy. He's too rangy. And yeah. Vicente struggled with range with Jeff. And Ian's significantly taller. So yeah. I don't like him, but I'll give him I'll give him props. And uh yeah, that's the crazy part, right? Because it's like 
being teammates, you have that, uh, you kind of know each other's game a little bit. And if they train enough, they know where that person is at mentally. Um, I don't know. I know Vicente is a dog. Uh, if I had to, I think I'm going to go with Vicente on that one. Damn. Uh, Ian? That's an interesting one. Uh, we'll see if they if they end up really throwing down, you know. Hopefully it doesn't turn into like a sparring session. Um, but um, I'm I'm thinking uh, I'm thinking it's Ian, Ian Gary's time time to shine. 